Welcome back to the 35th part in this Python series on the Django Web Framework and in this one we're going to sort of advance the profile page a bit more in the Accounts app. So let's just go ahead and look at one of the templates. So it's going to be the profile.html template that we used uh, to power this sort of profile page. And instead of just showing the information from the user model, which we're already doing here, um, we're also going to show the, some of the data from the user profile uh, which is created with uh, each user sort of during the registration process. If we go to our models we can see we've got a user profile defined and if you remember we we, uh, we introduced this sort of signal here to say uh, we want a user profile created whenever we uh, create a user. So we can just use that user profile model uh, on any user that was created or at least recently created uh, since we added this this uh, section after line 13 here. So what I need to do now, now that I know each user has an associated user profile, uh, is we need to put some data in those objects because at the moment they're just blank because they were just created without a default. So I need to provide some data in one of those objects so that I can uh, I can know whether the data that we're pulling through into the template is working or not because if there's no data and we put it through correctly then we're not going to know if it works or not. So that's the first thing that we need to do. So I'm going to just go to the uh, Django admin to do that and I'll click on user profiles and in fact I'm going to fix this really quickly. So where it says user profile object I'm just going to change that to be the, the username. So what I can do on the user profile model is I can just say def string and it just takes self and all I want to do is return uh, self.user.username refresh this and now we've got the usernames so I think that's a really handy little trick just to be able to uh, give the sort of model objects a more appropriate name so now we can see at, at a quick glance which user this user profile is corresponding to so let's just use test3 this test3 account that we created in a previous video uh, for sort of uh, an example so I'm just going to say this is a description and I'm just going to add some data into these fields. I believe that these are all mandatory fields because we didn't say that blank equals true on any of these. So, or null equals true for that matter. So, uh, we can just say whatever this happens to be. I think that should pass the validation. Uh, it doesn't really matter, I don't think, as long as this phone number is numbers. So, I'll leave it like that. And that's created successfully. So now we've got a user profile object for the test3 account, uh, which has some data in it. And uh, this, remember, was a URL field, so it just formatted it uh, as a URL. So now that we've got that, we should be able to log, log out from this max account, which is the super user account, which is actually the only account without a user profile because we created it before we added the, uh, the little signal here. So. I'm going to log back in with the test3 account, that's why I'm using a different one, uh, that's why I'm using the test3 account rather than the, the other account that I was logged in with. So I'm just going to enter the password. Now we're logged in as the test3 account. So if, if we click on profile you can see we've got a username test3, uh, the other information happens to be the same but that's just coincidence, it's still uh, referencing the user object for test3 account, not the other account. So Hopefully that's not confusing at all. But I also want to put here the information that we've just entered into the user profile model. So what we can do is if we go into the template, what should happen is user should be linked with user profile. So if we do a paragraph and we say, just as a quick test, user.userprofile to see if it pulls through or not. So now we get test three which is the default for uh, what we wanted it to return when we say user profile. And it says test3 uh, because we've got, we've got this string here. If we didn't have this in here, what would happen is we've just got that normal sort of user profile object. So if you remember, we changed that in the Django admin, and that's also pulling through uh, in the template now. Because all the Django admin displays is user.userprofile. Or in other words, just the user profile object itself. And 
So now I want to just re-enable what I've just dis disabled. So I just did that to show you sort of why it was saying test three, which is, you know, just the username. Uh, so I'm just going to sort of fill this out a bit. So I'm going to say the description is equal to user profile dot description. And remember, you could really create any fields you want on this user profile model, but I just picked a few random ones really so that I could show you sort of some of the different field types. So like the URL for example and the phone I think can only be numbers and stuff like that. And then also uh, just showing how you display that uh, which is essentially uh, the same for pretty much all the fields if you're just displaying the raw information. Uh, but this is essentially how it would work and you know you can feel free to change those fields to whatever you want to sort of fit your purpose uh, because of course most people are probably not going to have a description a city a phone number and a URL on their profile necessarily depending on the site that you're trying to build so I'm just going to add all that information anyway because uh, really that's that's all that's uh, just for an example so uh, user dot user profile and this is going to be dot phone I believe we called it if you're not sure we can always look at the models and see uh, so that was defined as phone so that's fine so now we've got description and phone if we refresh this it should pull through description and phone which is great and now all we need and by the way we can add more validation to this phone number if we wanted to for example but we're not going to do that for now uh, I'm just going to add city and website as well so they're the two that we haven't got yet so I'm just going to say another paragraph and city and this again is the same so user dot user profile dot city and then another paragraph uh, website I think this was so the last one is website and I'm just going to say user dot user profile dot website this is where it helps to have really appropriate names for your model fields so that it's sort of intuitive when you're sort of trying to render it in the template. So now we've got all that and we've got a much more complete user profile. Now the only other thing I want to do is just move this log out over here since we're editing the templates anyway. I thought, because that's a really quick thing, I'd rather it over here. So I'm just going to do uh, base.html which is where the link is and I need the navbar nav, so this is when we're authenticated. I'm also going to create a uh, URL element here with a class. Uh, so this is just going to be nav, navbar nav, and then navbar right. In fact, I'll just copy that. So I'm just going to cut this from here, so the logout link, and then I'm just going to paste it right in there. So I think that's going to really help uh, just because I, I didn't really like that the logout button was sort of mixed in with all the other buttons. So now it's over there. And in the next one we're actually going to talk a bit about static files and we may even get towards putting a profile picture onto the profile page itself.